When I was a teenager, once I was reading a novel, 1984, by George Orwell. The story takes place in an imagined future, the year 1984, when much of the world has fallen victim to perpetual war, omnipresent government surveillance, and propaganda. It was disturbing to imagine that all the citizens were monitored by the government and it was mandatory for everyone to undergo the surveillance. Since the beginning of human civilization, exploration, travel and exchange of knowledge and ideas has been an intricate part of growing mankind. There was exchange of ideas about philosophy, literature, religion, politics and even science. And the same principles stood as the core of borderless global internet. But with evolution of civilizations and human intelligence, the world got divided with borders came into picture. And we are so used to this concept that it doesn't hurt anymore. And we are making the same mistake again in cyberspace in the form of Splinternet. The future of World Wide Web is definitely at stake. Without a doubt, the fragmented and divided internet is now upon us, which is a result of technology, commerce, politics, religion of particular interests, and is getting dangerous every day. The internet is splitting into various versions and every version offers something different, depending upon where you are. Borderless internet is the new victim of nationalism and political agendas. Kwang Myong, national intranet of North Korea, with only a few thousand users, is completely monitored by the government. Global internet here is accessible only to foreigners, few government officials, academics and elites. China and its Great Wall is the best known example of an isolated internet, preventing its citizens from accessing content and services that their government doesn't want them to see. In the year 2011, a senior Iranian official, Ali Agha Mohammadi, announced his government's plans to launch what he called a halal internet, in line with the values of Islam designed to provide appropriate services and prevent access to unwanted information. Well, we can go on and on with countries like Russia, Cuba, etc. So what about the great concept of knowledge sharing? Limited access to knowledge definitely narrows our thought process and hinders the growth of mankind. Whether you are a consumer or an entrepreneur, these laws governing the internet affect you and your business. Splinternet starts with politics, follows with religion and culture, continues with alleged dangers and ends with intolerance splitting us in small tribes with different beliefs and cultures. A completely closed off splinter net will inevitably lead a country to isolation, low growth rates and stagnation. Equity appeals to authorities to implement a transparent monitoring system which ensures full resources of the internet. While curbing down on mal activities, easy accessibility to users worldwide for economic prosperity and free society with freedom of speech. For more such updates and knowledge, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. The links are below in the description. Do subscribe our YouTube channel and if you liked our video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to write your opinion in the comment section. Till then, bye.